I wanted to provide a quick summary video of the direction that Dearborn Public Schools is going in terms of simplifying and making Moodle easier to use for our students and for our teachers. Now, this involves um, two things currently and possibly a third before September, um, but let's talk about the two that we have right now. The first thing is the forts and theme which is partly what you're looking at right now. This is our login screen. Before students can even do anything in Moodle, they have to go um, and, and log in. Um, the second thing is once you log in, we're going to show you this brand new enrollment plugin. You know, we love open source because you can make it do what you want. And we have a very, very talented developer on staff here named Sean. And he um, has whipped up this plugin that we're going to show you. And we call it Easy Enrollment. And um, let's take a look. So this is the login screen. The student logs in. And this is what they're presented with. OK, this is obviously a demonstration site. Um, but this is what we're going to be activating for all of uh, the district uh, come this June. You'll notice that the home page is very, very simple. We have six buttons and an enrollment form. So the My Dashboard takes you to give you an overview if you're enrolled in any courses. It'll let you know what assignments and things that are coming up. Same thing with the calendar. You would be able to see your events. You have badges. Um, you have uh, Browse Courses, which is uh, takes you into the course category. So if you had to go kind of hunt down, and typically this is how students would have to enroll. They would have to come find the course. They would have to click on it. They would have to use an enrollment key. Um, or they would have to search for it. And uh, then it would pop up um, showing them, you know, um, and then they can enroll from there. Anyways, the, the process was very tedious. If you're trying to do this with first and second graders, it's beyond difficult. So what Sean did was um, he took a very simple concept of wanting to take an enrollment key and instantly enroll the user into a course. So I have some right here. We're going to start with this one right here. And uh, this is all available to the teacher. And I'll show you that once I get enrolled. So you can very easily type in a six digit code, click enroll, and it instantly takes you to the course. Now, how did I get here? Well, we have this new plugin. It's called Easy Enrollments. And you can see here's my code right here, the PBS 5W7, PBS 5W7. This will enroll me into the main course. I can also click this button right here and it'll ask me to download a QR code. That QR code, if printed on a piece of paper, will also get you directly into the course. But you'll see that there's all these different groups. We had several teachers sharing the same course. Um, and any one of these codes, if you wanted them to go into this group, you simply give the student this code, or you give them the QR code. Um, so that is how this plugin works. I'm going to unenroll me. And we're back here. I'm going to try the second code. This is another one to another course. Type that in. You click Enroll, and you are instantly taken to the course. So let me unenroll from here. We'll head back to the home page. Now, the QR code. This is where things get really interesting. And uh, this is something that, uh, you know, Dearborn Schools has, and I don't think anyone else does using Moodle. You click the button. Up pops a little screen. You might have to allow your um, uh, browser to open up the camera. You take your QR code, scan it in, and it instantly enrolls you into the course. Wasn't that neat? 
Let's try that one more time. Unenroll. This time I'll use a different enrollment key. So up pops this. Now I have a different enrollment key QR code. Bring that in. Boom! Takes me into that course and instantly enrolls me as a student. It doesn't get much easier than that. So you can imagine if you had a classroom full of kids, um, they're able to log in, they're sitting here on the home page, and all the kids open up the uh, uh, QR uh, code button and they're waiting for the teacher. So the teacher can come by with the QR code, wave it in front of the Chromebook, and the student is enrolled in their course. It doesn't get much easier than that. And of course, it's not going to work for me. There we go. I love doing that. That is so cool. And uh, we're still finishing up uh, the finishing touches on it. But um, as far as Moodle being a tool, in a time when people want sliders and, and flashy things, we're we're going with very plain, very intuitive, very easy for the student to get in and engage with the learning materials and 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 really try to streamline that process. So uh, we hope to roll this out for our entire district in June and uh, hope to um, possibly share this plugin, this enrollment plugin um, later. Um, in the summer. So thank you for watching.